Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been blasted for snubbing Prince Philip's memorial later this month. Members of the royal family will gather for a service of thanksgiving for the late Duke of Edinburgh, on March 29th. The service, which will honour the life of the Queen's beloved late husband, Prince Philip, will be held at Westminster Abbey. The Queen is widely expected to attend the service of thanksgiving taking place next week to honour the life of her beloved late husband. At the service, taking place at Westminster Abbey, she will surely be joined by several members of her family. However, it has been confirmed that the Sussexes, who quit royal duties two years ago and live in California now, won't be among the guests. Earlier this month, a spokesperson for the Duke of Sussex, 37, said he will not attend the memorial service for his late grandfather in London. A reason was not given for his planned absence, but his spokesperson added that he hopes to visit the Queen soon. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliams commented on the reported attendance of the Duke of York who has recently reached a settlement in his civil case. Also reacting to the news Harry and Meghan were missing the opportunity to pay tribute to the late Duke of Edinburgh, Mr Fitzwilliams blasted their absence as simply extraordinary. He told Express.co.uk, the service to be held in Westminster Abbey to honour Prince Philip will be an appropriate way of paying tribute to a truly remarkable individual, whose superhuman energy and considerable talents were devoted to supporting the Queen and the institution of monarchy. He later added, Prince Andrew will reportedly attend the service as it celebrates the life of his father. The absence of the Sussexes is simply extraordinary. The occasion would be his first public outing for the Duke of York since settling his sex assault case. The Duke of York is determined to honour his further by being among those at the Abbey Pennsylvania media reported, despite the scrutiny he is likely to face. In attendance will also be the Duke of Edinburgh's friends, colleagues and representatives of organisations he supported. Members of other European royal families including the Sovereign of Sweden King Karl XVI Gustav and his wife Queen Sylvia, and King Felipe and Queen Letizia of Spain will travel to London to attend the service. The Queen's grandchildren Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, and Zara Tindall, who are not working royals, and their spouses will also likely be in attendance. Prince Philip died at Windsor Castle on April 9 and his funeral took place at the nearby St George's Chapel just over a week later. Since quitting royal duties and moving to America, Prince Harry has only returned to the UK on two occasions and never with his family in tow. Last year, the Duke of Sussex returned to Britain to attend the funeral for the late Duke of Edinburgh in April. His grandfather's funeral was restricted to close family and friends due to Covid restrictions in place at the time. Just 30 guests attended the somber occasion. Due to social distancing measures in place at the time, the Queen famously was forced to sit alone at the Abbey while grieving her husband whom she was famously referred to as her strength and stay. Following the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral, Harry is understood to have returned to Frogmore Cottage, the property he and wife Meghan were gifted by the Queen following their 2018 wedding. This was in line with Covid rules in force at the time, which stated that people travelling to the UK must isolate for 10 days. It is understood that he was allowed to attend the funeral on compassionate grounds, but the rules stated he must remain in isolation at all other times. There is speculation that Harry's ongoing legal battle with the UK government over security measures has impacted any potential visits to Britain. In January, a legal representative for the Duke of Sussex announced that he was challenging a decision by the Home Office not to allow his family police protection when he is on UK soil. Within the statement, Harry's lawyer claimed he inherited a security risk at birth, for life, which necessitated the need for such security measures. The Sussexes received taxpayer-funded police protection when they were working royals but lost this when they stepped back in March 2020.